So they can come and use it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Today we spoke about the jets, very important topic for us because we can't control the sky, you know it. So I think you know everything deeply because we're real partners. Rishi knows all the details what's going on on our battlefield. Thank you very much. And uh, we want to create this uh, jets coalition and I'm very positive with it. We spoke about it and I see that in the closest time you will hear some, I think, very important decisions, but we have, we have to work a little bit more on it. Yes, look, we, we are going to be a key part of the coalition of countries that provides that support to Vladimir and Ukraine. Now, it is not a straightforward thing, as Vladimir and I have been discussing, to make build up that fighter uh, combat aircraft capability. It's not just the provision of planes, it's also the training of pilots and all the logistics that go alongside that. Now, the UK can play a big part of that. One thing we will be doing, starting actually relatively soon, is uh, training of Ukraine. Ukrainian pilots and that's something that we've discussed yes, today we're ready to implement those plans uh, in, in relatively short order which will mean that we're training Ukrainian uh, citizens to become absolutely combat ready aircraft pilots uh, and particularly whether it comes to NATO tactics as well because that's an important part of the long-term relationship between our countries so we've had very good productive discussions on that today other countries are involved I'm talking to those leaders I'll be doing more of that this week in my international engagement and we're very keen to build that coalition of countries to give uh, Vladimir and his people the aircraft support that they need. When Vladimir was last here some months ago, I talked then about the provision of long-range weapons because of the capability that they would offer. Uh, I'm pleased we're the first country to be able to do that, and I'm pleased that they will make a difference to the defence of Ukraine. And we will keep providing support, as you've Thank seen you. today, with long-range offensive drones, for example, uh, more anti-aircraft, uh, and there will be further support to come, and that's what we've been talking about today. But I think it's important for the Kremlin to also know that we're not going away. Right. We are here for the long term. We remain steadfast in wanting to defend Ukraine, not just now to reclaim its rightful territory, but also to ensure that Ukraine has the means to defend itself into the future as well.